So if you look at formal and simulation, they are both generic applications. What that means is that the user has to build the error checking. And in order to facilitate the error checking, you can buy VIPs, you can buy apps, uh, but it's the user's responsibility to build the error checking. And because these are generic products, the debug is also generic. As I've already said, formal and static sign-off are both static. On the other hand, static sign-off uh, includes complete and customized error checking inside, in the context of the product or the tool. And as a result, the debugging is also customized to the application at hand. Here's a very simplified model on how we can evaluate the merits of each of these approaches. So first metric says the analysis always finishes, which means that the method completes in a practical time frame. The metric on the left here says that all the violations flagged by the analysis or the technique are definite design failures. And at the third metric says that for the targeted checks, 100% of the failures are found, which is another way of saying that you can prove the absence of any errors in the design. Okay, so these are the three dimensions on which we can evaluate uh, the various methodologies. So this is the ideal scenario. We really want a verification methodology that, ex that rates very high on each of these metrics, okay? Uh, and so ideal scenario, unfortunately, there is no ideal methodology. So if we look at the characteristics of various methodologies, let's look at simulation first. Uh, we know that simulation finishes, okay? Um, you, when you create a test bench, you have some idea of how much time it will take to run and simulation will finish. And we also know that for simulation, the failures that are flagged are definite failures. But simulation is the weakest on the third metric where it cannot confirm that the 100% of failures have been detected. And whatever is the weakness of the methodology, that is where the engineering effort has to be spent to overcome that deficiency, okay? Now let's look at the characteristics of formal methods. Uh, we know that in formal analysis, if uh, a failure is flagged, it's a definite failure. At the same time, formal analysis is very capable of uh, uh, finding 100% of the failures, and that is to say it, it is capable of proving correctness. But it, uh, it lacks on the third dimension, which is to say, which is the performance dimension, and the formal analysis may not finish in the project uh, timeline. And as a result, all the engineering effort goes into figuring out how to improve the completion, completion rate for the formal analysis. This is the weakest dimension for formal analysis. Now, if you look at static sign-off, it's a, it's a very different kind of a methodology. It makes a trade-off in the third dimension. Static sign-off analysis finishes. Static sign-off also finds 100% of the failures that are targeted by the checks. But static sign-off does not find definite failures. It finds potential failures, the so-called noise, okay? And uh, the noise level in the static sign-off tools is going to be dependent upon, will vary from tool to tool, or the accuracy will vary from product to product, but the static sign-off methodology makes a trade-off in the third dimension. And the idea is that if you can iterate and clean out all the violations, potential violations that are reported, then you have sign-off. So, so this is the uh, characterization of the three methodologies. 